I can't just snap my fingers and make a plane. Believe me, I wish I could. Right now, we needed one. Bad. When we were coming over on the boat, I remember seeing an aircraft carrier. That gave me an idea. The Admiral Anderson. The name of an old sailor. When the first drone started attacking, the ship wasn't ready for battle yet. It was still in the dock, getting all rigged up. So they rushed to get her ready. I know about Anderson. In the previous Ocean War, he was the commander of a ship that sent out the last fleet of jets. They say the deck was sloping so bad as it sank, the last plane barely made it off. Those fighters ended the war. That story gives me a little bit of hope, especially at a time like this. Traeger, everyone, listen up. Strider Squadron, take off prep complete. Broadcast to communicate. With the information infrastructure down, it's the only place capable of wide area data transmission. The drones are waiting for it to power up again. Clever little bastards. Call leader to Warcast. UAV is confirmed in direction of travel. Engaging two bandits. All aircraft converge on Skull Squadron. Surround and shoot them down. Strider 3, copy. Let's do it, Ocean. Welcome. UAV reacting. Damn, they're fast. All aircraft stay sharp. Intercept now. Damn it. Enemy hit. Rider one got him. The UAV 
UAVs are equipped with laser weaponry. Watch where their nose is pointing. It's 
Just like the UAV that Trigger shot down at Fort Cordarest. Is that the prototype that Wiseman was talking about?
Feels like it's my engine. I'm fine. I can still fly. My rudder's acting up. It's hard to keep level. I'm not getting much thrust, but I'll be okay. fuel, but I have no choice. Attempting to land. I don't think my plane will make it. Anyway, here goes. Come on, baby, stay with me just a bit more. One has returned to radar. I did it! That's our trigger! He's a damn hero! <laughs> no doubt. You're better than me. Where's Strider 2? Damn it. Does anyone have eyes on count? Wish y'all could have seen that. <laughs> you damn fool. What's your position? Watching Trigger climb. I guess it's my fate to watch from down below. Same boat there. Yeah, well, I guess we are. We're sending help. Give us your coordinates. Directly under the space elevator. Elevation is minus 500 meters. Minus? Hey, Trigger. You dumbass. Tell me something. What color's the sky up there? Mission. This is Captain K. Nagase of the spaceship Pilgrim One. The ocean of stars in our galaxy is finally within our reach. To the pilot who generously gave this spaceship a place to dock, we are forever grateful. The universe lies ahead of us, waiting to be discovered. And now, at last, we have a gateway to ascend to it, over and over again. 
it's all coming together for me. Today was the day, the moment of her return. I salute the pilot who gave us all a future. Skies unknown. The path to mankind's vast future remains standing, Grandad. The refugees built the settlement for themselves at the base of the space elevator. A humanitarian mission from Yuktuvania airdropped some supplies for them again today. Thanks to the princess, the whole world was pitching in to help these people. Handing out the relief supplies would have been a perfect gig for that anarchist dude. But since he's dead now, the job went to the guy from Belka, George. I guess Tabloid got that new system he wanted in the end. Mihai's granddaughters are helping out too. Mihai. That cranky old geezer's here with us, too. I never wanted to create anything, and now here I am, clinging to life. Watching as my grandchildren and their generation make a new future for themselves and the world. Is this my punishment, then? All I do is lie here, wasting away. I'll never know the freedom of flying the open skies ever again. I've been grounded, and my wings have been clipped. You know what having peace in the world means? It's being able to die in your own bed at a ripe old age. Peace is what those girls are working so hard for here. We got a bunch more refugees today. And the princess? She's looking to the stars. dark blue to the heavens and beyond. Can you hear me? Tu te souviens de nos fleuves préférés qui chantaient tout près de nous du jour de ta déclaration d'amour. 